Tell me about the tour so far. How's it going for you guys? It's been incredible. Yeah. Fucking awesome, yeah. A lot of, lot of shows. We did 10 shows in 11 days this last week or so. Okay. So it's been a lot, uh, but fantastic. Right on. Definitely really nice. good time. Great guys. Great audiences. Good cities. Yeah. Good cities. Favorite city so far? Oof. I don't know. Um, Chicago was a blast. Mm -hmm. Chicago was good. Nashville was great. Nashville was a lot of fun. We got to play at Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, which is the yeah. Rhyme Theater. Yeah. yeah nice. Pretty fucking killer. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Omaha, Nebraska was great. Too. Omaha was a lot of fun too. How does uh, how how would you guys describe your music? Yeah. Rock and roll and, and, and blues. blues. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much about it. A little bit of everything. Everything, everything on the internet says you guys are bluegrassy kind of like just folkish. The most is it because absurd thing? I've that's cool. I mean, we did it. We did an album where we had that girl Julia on it, and she plays the violin. And so I guess maybe that's why. Yeah, I think as soon as you throw think a that, in, people think it's bluegrass. Right. That's I, think, I think you're right. It was so, not at all bluegrass. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I've, heard, I've heard you guys compare to the the roots of Sun Records. Um, I've heard you guys compare to the Yardbirds. You know, the Brit, the Brits when they came up in the '60s. I heard about that. I mean, so, all those guys were pretty much listening to the same kind of music. Yeah. We listen to that music too. And, exactly. It's right on. You know, you start writing stuff like that. Right on. So how does a band, how, how did you guys end up with Queens of the Stone Age? Uh, the guy that produced our last record uh, plays in a band with Mike Schumann, the bass player of Queens. Yeah. And they spoke about us, they spoke about our album, and that was pretty much about it. Yeah. How's that camaraderie on tour? Are you guys all good friends? Right. They're yeah. the sweetest guys I've ever yeah. met in my life. Yeah. You guys been in town for, like, has, has, have they been in town too for the last day and a half? No, Joe, yeah, day and a half. Well, they got, we all got in pretty much at the same time yesterday. Is that right? Yeah. So. What's, um, like, I know I read some stuff you guys were with Bob Dylan for a while. Yeah. yeah. How, how did that go? Incredible. Bob Dylan got to hang out with? Uh, uh, not too much. He keeps to himself, as I would too if I was yeah. Bob Dylan. Yeah. Right. But he's a nice guy. But very nice guy. Lovely crew. crew. Fantastic. Yeah, the great band. band. Really great. Cool. Really just nice people. Very different than this tour. Very different. Right. It's just as fun. <laughs> no one nearly as young at, at Dylan shows as there were at these shows. It was also just the two of us on that and it tour. Was just the two of us. How how was the how was uh, the reception for you guys though? Dylan or yeah, Dylan. Dylan. Dylan was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It was very it's more, it's more, it's, is it better with Dylan or is it better with the Queen of the Stone Age? It's just very different. different. Yeah, totally uh, different. Yeah, you know, Dylan, Dylan was just us playing very primitive blues, just the two of us, and now we have a full band. Different response. This tour is kind of electric. It's a whole different kind of. Band. Yeah. Right on. You don't get a lot of people like headbanging at Dylan shows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You get headbangers at your shows. A little bit. Well, I mean, they have them. They're, They've got them. Yeah. And so they're already there. And you know, got can't help him on your show? No, no, no. no? no, no we don't no, play no. that guy. Welcome to Des Moines, Iowa. No, I'm just yeah. um, What's the, uh, what would you guys say is your best moment like on tour so far for the Queens of the Stone Age? I mean, playing the Grand Old Opry. Like, yeah. That was I, I'm not even saying that's the best show, but that was... Just being in that building, yeah. let alone getting a piece yeah. on the stage, yeah. let alone playing on the stage. Pretty it's much the fucking coolest thing in the world. Probably yeah. my most yeah. memorable. So, so you guys are both pretty young in the early 20s. 20, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I'm 24, he's 21. So you guys are, you guys, you tour around the country with a rock and roll band. Are you guys starstruck when you see somebody you go, oh my god, that's, you know, is that? Okay. Not really. I don't know. I, I not to sound no, they're just jaded normal, at all, but normal right. guys. they're just all, you know, you know normal guys with families who like to play music and like to do the same thing we like to do. And right on. So, no, not really. It's been, um, you know, everyone's so kind and nice that the feeling of superiority is not there. They feel... You know, Why do you mean superiority like, necessary? No, I know, but, but you know what I mean, where it's like, but like whoa, look Everybody's back in the back room like, together, yeah. Everyone's so everybody's humble just nice. You know, I mean, it's kind of like, like that thing. If I was, I think for myself, if I was touring with a band, let's say I was at a place where Neil Young was at or something, I'd be like, oh my God, you know. Yeah, yeah, even, though, even though I would try to be well, so... We, we had that with Dylan a bit, you know. Yeah. Was, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, when you get to somebody like that... Yeah, it was... I mean, somebody who actually, like, just yeah. made the Grand Canyon of rock and roll, you know. Yeah. So, right on, man.